What's the difference between a $50 top coat and a $500 top coat? On one hand, you hear you're just paying for a brand name, and on the other, you hear buy once, buy well. So which is it? I've got these two overcoats here, one recently purchased on sale from Old Navy and another several years old from a collaboration between British Mill, Abraham Moon, and American Legacy brand Land's End. So let's take a look at the differences, which I'll summarize into two categories, materials and make. For materials, the Old Navy jacket is mostly polyester with a bit of wool and other materials blended in. The Abraham Moon jacket has a 100% wool shell with polyester and nylon lining. I'm not I'm not going to break down all the differences between these fabrics here, but as I'm sure most of you know, the wool is better, especially in terms of durability, warmth for weight, and eco-friendliness. The wool jacket also has a lot more visual texture versus the flat woven pattern of the cheaper jacket. When it comes to make, every cut and stitch adds up to more cost for the manufacturer, so cheaper garments tend to be simpler, which you can really see here in these coats. The old navy jacket has less panels, less pockets, and a simpler interior design, while the Land's End jacket has a more complicated design in these buttons, which are sewn fully through the fabric instead of just being sewn into the shell. A $500 barely scratches the surface in terms of luxury for coats, and Land's End is a pretty middle-of-the-road American brand, so costs can really go up from here, especially when you start to consider country of origin.